So this is just a little quick video. Um, I didn't really want to make it and I probably shouldn't because it's never good to make stuff like this when you're angry. But uh, my computer tried to come today. Unfortunately, it was about two days faster than the tracking information said and I had no plans to be here to receive it. So it's already got marked off as undelivered once. Um, they want me to go about five to six miles to pick up this package and then deliver it myself to my own home, basically. This 60 to 70 pound box, they want me to drive out and get it. It's like, what's the point of UPS if you're getting your own packages from these super inconvenient locations? There's not even one in my city. I have to actually go to a separate city. And so I called online. I went online, tried to get my stuff thing, and called the customer support number. And they basically told me to screw off. Um, they wouldn't let me do anything. Like, I had to go through, like, a million menus to even get to a person. And then when I talked to a person, all they offered was me to sign up for their program, my choice program or whatever, this online service, to set my destinations and all this stuff myself. And... Um, so, but they offered nicely to help me sign up. And he took my information and created an account for me. He said an email would send me my password and I could log in. Well, unfortunately, the guy was a moron and he screwed up my email address, which is really funny because it's pretty simple. And I have an account with them now that I can't sign into because the email address is wrong. I can't get it reset or anything because the email address is the only thing you really can't mess up. I have an account name but no email address. So I created my own, figured whatever. Unfortunately, he entered all my information in my address, my name, and stuff like that. And you can't create another UPS account with the same information as any other account in existence. So because the address is the same, I can't make a new account because he messed up my old one, the one he's made for me, that I never could log in once. I called again, they gave me the runaround, had to push a million buttons to get to a person, and they basically said, oh, the tech support people closed five minutes ago, you'll have to call back, or they gave me the number to call directly, but unfortunately these people aren't Eastern time, so I have basically to skip work or try to call during lunch to talk to their tech support to fix an account to try to reschedule my package which is already going to be sent again tomorrow which I can't receive because I can't change the address or the delivery date now and you know I understand that this is an expensive item you know a $3,000 computer and they need a sign on receipt they can't just drop it off at the office or something like that but it's annoying that None of the UPS drop-off centers near me, like there's a Staples that I know I can drop off UPS packages. Apparently doesn't isn't a pickup one as well, so I can't pick up my package there. Um, the only one is several miles away, and I have no ability to get there because they also close at 5.30. So basically, if you work a 9 to 5 or 8 to 4 type job, you can't get UPS. You can't be home to get your package. You can't go to their locations to pick up your package after work because they were closed pretty quickly, if not already by the time you get there. And you are usually told to go to the most inconvenient, far away place possible. Uh, there's actually another access point closer to me. I mean, it's still not close. It's closer. But I can't pick it because that online stupid crap won't let me log in because they messed up my account. So if anybody ever makes a spam account that has your address on it, that you'll prevent you from having to log in. But yeah, this is an angry video. I really didn't want to do it, but, you know, I'm still trying not to be too angry because I don't like to swear. But, you know, it's still, you know, I've been waiting for this for a while. It was supposed to be here, like, by Friday. I didn't expect it to be here before they said so on the tracking. And I have to take a day off work just to receive this because I can't have it sent anywhere. Nobody can sign for it. I can't even leave a, you know, a permission sign thing on the door like some of the other packages because this is like a registered package or whatever. And it's just really annoying because if this was the post office, I could go to the post office. The post office is like two blocks from my house. You know, I could go anywhere. But this is 
UPS, and I hate that when you buy something, you have no choice of how it's shipped these days. You can pick how fast, but you can't pick by who. You know, you used to have the option of picking UPS or Postal Service or whatever, but everybody just picks UPS for the most part. Some places take FedEx, which is no better. And I just think it's annoying because I've had a lot of trouble with UPS over the years. Um, my previous times, it's always been that they don't bother to leave a sticker on the door when they drop off a package at the office. They don't even try to deliver it to my house, even when I'm home all day. They don't even knock on the door. They just drop it straight off at the office to save time. And, you know, they've lost packages and stuff like that, too, in the past. But, I mean, that's just any delivery service. But it's just annoying that, basically, if you're the deliverer, if you're the one that's receiving the package, you have no ability, no rights. And it's like the most inconvenient way to get a package, unless you happen to not have a job and you're home all the time, because they can come from anywhere at like 10 in the morning till 4 or 5 at night. And, but they don't open past like 5, so you can't go there to pick it up. And you better have a car with a pretty good clearance, because, you know, this uh, computer is... 60 pounds or so, and then the box makes it to about 80, according to their shipping information. And that ain't going to fit in most cars, you know? Not easily. It's you got to be able to put the back seat down or something, and it's just annoying because I don't actually have a car. It's just not happening. I can't afford it. I mean, obviously I bought an expensive computer. It's not so much that the car I can't afford. I could have bought a car. But I can't afford the monthly um, car insurance. So I haven't had a car in a couple years. And stuff like this really makes it annoying. You know. I can't obviously put it on the back of my bike. I mean if it was close I could take a dolly or something. You know but still wouldn't want to do it. But I mean you're paying all this money for shipping. And you got to pick it up yourself. For a couple miles or take a bus or something. It's just ridiculous. Hopefully this resolves itself, otherwise I might end up getting the package sent back and I hope I get a full refund and I don't get charged a restocking fee or some crap. I mean, this is... I, I can't even take a day off work right now because it's spring break around here and nobody's allowed to take a day off during spring break. It's too much of the busy season. But, uh, yeah. Sorry for this little rant, but... You know, I wanted to leave a review online, but all these places require to sign up for that crappy little service and receive emails just to leave a review that nobody will ever really see. So I thought, why not make a video? And it's mostly visual. I'll try to, I mean, audio, I'll try to get some visuals to put up, but there's really no web pages or anything I wanted to capture to do this. And I don't have a better computer, so it'd be at like two frames per second, you know, which is why I won the computer. But uh, this is just a guy, I guess. Hopefully I see you guys soon with something better.